Welcome to the channel again, you guys. This is your guy DJ NBK. Thank you for watching again. We are in here today with our first car. I'm at work. Uh, we have a 2013 Chrysler 200. Customer came in for a check engine light. We diagnosed the vehicle. It has a code for a P0441. That is a purge valve solenoid. That is with the EVAP system. I don't know why they tune the horn so loud, but I hope you can hear me. You know, so this is the car. It's a 2.4 liter. The purge valve solenoid is down there. I don't know if you can see see my hand. Purge valve solenoid is down in there, and it also is getting spark plugs. No coils, but just a small tune-up. I'm gonna show you what the the valve looks like. The brand new one comes in a Mopar box. This is a how to change it. This is what the new one looks like. I'm going to start by removing the air box. You remove the air box to get more clearance. Get the air box out the way. Get it size 10. My nice tool snap on, guys. Take that off. I'll just sit that out there. This hose. Just make the clearance to get to that that valve. Let y'all see this valve. I can see it better now. I done took the air box out the way. You know, the air box was right here. Not hard to move. It just got this on top of it. Eight millimeter to loosen that. Pull that off the box. Sealing that valve solenoid, as you can see, is right there. It's right there. It's only, it's the connector. I done took the connector out. Let's just see, I'm trying to get it. Get my hand on it. It wanna hide right now. For everyone that has one of these, these are a common issue with these cars. It's a red tab on there. You push that tab through to unlock it. And this, this right here, it's a little piece you pull back.
probably be better with the pockets you left. Alright, we got that one loose. Let you see. There's a little gray piece on there. You push push that little piece back. Push that back and pull it down. And it comes off. Then you got the little slide on piece that you push in. Push out really to get still in order. Slide it off that little bracket. I'll let you see it once I pull it out. In one second. It pays to be small, you guys. You got small arms and whatnot. It helps out a lot. Get something to help me out. This is just to help me push it off the thing.
Got so much crud and dirt around it, make it kind of hard to come out. Got it loose though. Just trying to get it out of the hole right now. The old thing. And this is how you replace that valve. This valve has that one on the bottom, that one that goes right here. It don't have no tabs on it. You just kind of work it back off slowly. This was, you push this in to get that off. And that's how you get that valve out of there. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel and comment if you need any help. Thank you.